So today we're going to uh, split a uh, 920 cat loader. It's got some uh, excessive play in the bottom pin down here. You started out by removing these four lines and uh, we've supported our front. So this one's uh, a little unique because it has to be split and then it has to roll separately from each other. So we have these uh, special jack stands that go on rollers. So now we're going to uh, start removing everything and uh, set it on these stands and once we get all the pins and uh, hydraulics off then we'll uh, roll them apart and assess the pin situation. Okay, so now we've got these pins removed on both sides. Everything's separated. Got our bottom bearing pulled out. I'm not able to hear you if you're talking about it. We uh, got most everything removed. Got our drive shaft pulled out. You can see how bad our drive shaft is here. It's been rubbing on the pin from the movement of the machine. We've got this back axle wedged. This back, sac back axle pivots on the, the cab so it can move. As we split the machine, it can rock back and forth. So you see everything we've done so far. This is one of the pins that came out, those top cylinders. The next step is going to be to pull our top pin. We're going to pull this top pin and then punch out the bottom pins after we install our jack stands and our rollers assembly. We've got the front supported with a jack so it can roll smoothly. So every, hopefully everything will roll together. So now we got our pins out. You can see our two pins. So we're getting ready to separate our machine. You can see our holes are clean. That's where the top pin came out. The bottom pin. See how we've got everything supported. Got it supported here, here, and then on a rolling jack stand. And then we're basically going to just roll this front part away from the rear. The rear will stay stationary, and the front will roll away. And then we'll see what kind of damage we got, which looks pretty severe. The bearings are uh, in pieces out of the bottom. Looks like we got some pretty good damage there. So, here you go. It's our big split. Got our uh, rail system here. How easy that works. One stays in one place, and the other rolls away, just like it's supposed to. Here's our pins. There's our bearings that were all tore up. That all is going to need to be repaired. Pretty slick system. Makes the job a whole lot easier. Got the hole all cleaned out. And uh, get the races out. Had to heat one of them up. This plate, bottom plate, was so tore up from inside here, it's been wearing on there. So the bottom of this 
was so damaged that it didn't want to come out. 